Hi guys, we are back here pulling cards for October the 21st today. And so I'm going to be pulling one card per sign. This is a great way to find a lot, a lot of information about your day if you know your sun, your moon, and your rising. And even more so if you know your other planetary placements. I want to thank you all for being here and spending some of your precious time with me. Looking forward to doing readings and Reiki sessions for some of you later on. Also, don't forget about the contest. You want to comment below so that you can participate in the contest. And thank you for the thumbs ups, the shares, and the subscriptions. Aries, you're up first. Okay, so for Aries, what we have coming out is the Empress in reverse. Let's get her out of the glare if we can. Okay, so Empress in Reverse showing up for Aries. This is telling me that today, what's going on with that focus? <laughs> this is telling me that today you may be, why is that not fixing? Okay, that seems to be better. Maybe because I wasn't close enough to the center. Okay, so Aries, today you may be focusing more on what you don't want or what you're afraid of than what your actual goal or target that you want to reach is. And when we do that, what we do is we draw to us those things that we don't want to come to us. So when you notice yourself doing that today, Aries, you really want to flip that around. If you can't flip that around to the positive version of whatever this is, then you want to stop thinking about the negative stuff and think about something else that you can be happy about. Get your mind off of those things that you're fearing or dreading or that you don't want to manifest so that you don't pull them into yourself. Okay, that's for Aries. Next up, let's look at Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, you guys have the Seven of Pentacles showing up here. This is telling me that there is something that you have invested in. You invested in invested either time, energy, money, effort. And now you were expecting that today was going to be the day that you got paid back for whatever that was. And what's going on is that payback is not coming in today. It's not that it's not coming in. It's just that you're going to have to be patient and wait for it to actually show up because it's just not manifesting today. Okay, so that's for Taurus. Next up, we are looking at Gemini, Gemini. Okay, so Gemini's, what we're looking at here is the Queen of Swords. This is telling me that you have somebody coming at you with some type of information and you're being very careful to analyze that information, to look that over, to do your due diligence, to make sure that what they're telling you, actually they've got all their I's dotted and their T's crossed, making sure that what they're telling you really goes along with the reality of the situation. Next up we have Cancer. Cancer, you have the Emperor showing up in reverse. <sighs> Cancers, you want to be really careful today that any situations that you take control of, that you are um, taking control of those situations in a way that is healthy and good for everyone involved in the situation. Yourself, yes, definitely, but also for the other people as well. Because if you try to take control of the situation in a way that does not um, benefit other people as well, then what you're gonna see is the situation falling apart on you and that is definitely not the goal here. Okay, next up, let's look at Leo's. Leo's, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse is just telling me that you are giving somebody a gift today. And if you are not giving somebody a physical, tangible gift, for me, this card does talk about giving somebody the gift of a second chance. So you could be giving somebody a second chance or you could be giving a very tangible gift today, Leo's. Next up, we're looking at Virgo. Virgos, we have the Eight of Swords showing up here. I know that you guys are very practical. It looks like you're kind of in analysis paralysis right here. There's some type of situation that you really want to move forward with, but you're not seeing a way to do that. And it looks to me like with the Eight of Swords, really what's always going on every time is that you 
are the person who is blocking yourself with the perception that you have, which is not necessarily based on the reality around you. So if you can find a way to look at this situation where you're feeling stuck with a different perspective, you will find your way out of here, out of that situation and out of this, um, these negative consequences having to do with the situation. All right. So let's see, that was Virgo. Next up, we're doing Libra's card. Libra, you guys have the judgment card showing up in reverse. For me, the judgment card in reverse just tells me that there is an opportunity to uh, pick up where you left off, either with a relationship, a hobby, a project, something that you used to do or that you used to participate in. I think you're being given the opportunity to get back into that. And you are saying, no, thank you. I've kind of got some better things going on right now and I just don't have time to incorporate that or I just don't have the desire to incorporate that back into my life again. Either way, Libras, you're deciding not to move forward with that opportunity to pick up something from the past. Next up, we have Scorpio. Scorpio's Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I do feel like this is talking about us today, Scorpios. I feel like we're, we are not actually doing a whole lot to bring in the money, honey, whatever that takes in our lives, you know, whether we're running our own thing or working for somebody else, whatever this is, you know, if we're working on commission, whatever it is, I think that we're not putting out the energy and the effort to bring in the money. For some of us, it's going to be just because we're not feeling very well in our bodies. We may not be feeling like we have energy. Uh, but either way, I do feel like this is a short term thing. I wouldn't expect this to go for more than two or three days. Not that I expect that we'll get the card every one of those days, but I do feel like the longest this would be is two or three days. For some of us, this will be over in just one day. Okay, so that's for Scorpios and Scorpio placements. Next up, let's look at Sagittarius. Here we do have the Justice card showing up in reverse Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I feel like um, you are in a situation where you have to make a decision about somebody and their actions and their behavior, and you're trying to decide if this person, um, something has basically gone wrong. And what you have to sort out is if this person did something wrong intentionally, or if this person was trying to do something good and things went off the track and they didn't know how to fix it. All right, and I feel like with the Justice card coming in reverse for you here, Sagittarius, I feel like you're having a really hard time trying to figure out how you would know that or how to sort that out. Next up, we have Capricorn. Capricorns, you guys have the Knight of Cups showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that you're putting self-care on a back seat today because you are busy taking care of everybody else's needs and not taking the time to focus on replenishing yourself. So obviously, if you see this energy coming in, you want to switch that up a little bit. You want to make some kind of time for yourself. Next up, we have Aquarius. Aquarius, you guys have the Ace of Cups showing up in reverse. I do feel like this talks about somebody who has shown you their true colors today and you no longer have them on the same pedestal you used to have them on before. They're starting to seem more like a regular person who puts their pants on one leg at a time that has, you know, things that get to them too, just like anybody else. Okay, next up, let's look at Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, you guys have the Five of Cups showing up in reverse. This is one of those cards that I actually like better in reverse than right side up. So Five of Cups in reverse means one of two things is happening for you, Pisces, maybe even for some of you, both of these is happening, but where you might have been feeling left out socially or personally, now you're starting to feel like you're a part of the group or a part of the crowd or a part of the team, whatever that may be. Um, and then the other way that this could be uh, coming in could be that your budget is loosening up. You may have done something so that you have a little bit more money in your budget normally. Maybe you paid something off or got a raise, got a bonus, something like that, where you have, um, where you have either a little bit more to spend or a little bit less to spend on, a little bit fewer obligations, one or the other. Okay, so a really good card for you, Pisces, whichever way that that translates for you, and I'm very happy for you about that. 
Thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to put a comment below if you want to enter the contest. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, ordering private readings, Reiki sessions, and Reiki candles from me. It is because of you guys' support in every single one of those areas that I am able to continue to do what I love to do for my living. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody have a great day. Peace out.